Iron Lords Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Iron Lords Podcast for this game called Insurmountable. Now, uh, I wanted to tell you all that uh, this game, I ended up playing it on uh, my Twitch channel uh, because I had a couple of people in the channel telling me about it and wanting to play it. So uh, this okay. game was made by Rockbiter Games, um, and I wasn't 100% uh, sure how I was going to feel about it. I myself have uh, gone, and I've been a rock climber uh, for, uh, in, my, in my past well, life, many years ago. The, uh, I used to go rock climbing on a regular basis, and I wanted to see how the thought process was kind of thrown into this game now research insurmountable has a lot of different things a lot of them i was not expecting for them to take and implement as beautifully as they did in this game now you first start the game uh, now i'm going to take this to you guys as a person who knew nothing about the game turned it on started playing it and went through it you then start the game, you first start the game as an individual who's looking to climb this mountain. And during this time, you are end up going to pick uh, what type of a skilled climber you are, which is going to give you, you know, either some items to be able to allow you to climb the mountain with, or it's going to give you a different types of uh, positive or negative effects as you are going through this mountain. Now... Mountain. When you start on then one. proceed past that point, then end up having to pick what type of mountain you are going to climb, and then you pick from there, you're going to pick which type of direction you're going to climb from. And when you're going through this, you start off and you're like, okay, this doesn't look too bad. And then you end up going and looking from location to location throughout the, the whole entire grassy area to pick up items nice. or um, pick up uh, you know, different types of markers or things Been from there. different Ooh, parts of the ground where you're walking around. Now, uh, once you hit you can, uh, the, the, the icy plane, let's say, you go from your grass you to your rock to your ice, things start again. changing drastically. Route the one. snow yeah, let's go. with you having to move during the night all of these things play into different effects of your character. The nighttime being cold, the the sanity level of you going in crazy because of you being on this rock by yourself. If you slip and fall, you're taking you know damage or hurt damage. There's the the oxygen level. Once you hit a certain point, you start actually having O2 loss because you're higher than you're, the air is thinner and it's it's harder for you to breathe. Now, I thought this game was going to only take me a couple of hours to get through. And I was like, oh, piece of cake. So we end up about an hour in. I hit the first summit, and I'm like, awesome, cool, boom, thumbs up, done. Not the case. What ended up happening was you actually then get tasked to go down the mountain to camp. I think it's... A, the next camp let's call it so we end up hiking down the hill we finally get to the camp barely alive and i'm like whew, made it done level stage we're over next thing it asks you to do is asks you to take another hiking point and i'm like excuse me so they ended up having it to make you go and hike to another location to allow you to continue and at that point i was just like mentally i can't handle it my twitch you. channel was just like this is a this is crazy this is awesome this is so much fun this is cool there. so we you know but we had enough for like they were even stressed out by it this so way. we ended up you know taking a break and and going back to it later but the game itself so we can go is this beautifully way, dr yeah. drawn the movements uh, for the hex the hexagonal 
movement around the map beautifully done really really enjoyed it really liked it the the changes from day to night i can't tell you how how amazing i felt like they were from those little changes you felt that there was a huge 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 amount of thought that was put into the game and i really really did enjoy it i really want you guys to go and to pick up this game Ooh, this it's out way. on steam uh, uh it's called insurmountable all right i it's now though here telling you go and get it I, I you know i know that you that you probably hear me say that about many of the games i that we end up reviewing here but because we think that people should be touching this game playing it i really really enjoy it and i would like to again thank rockbiter games for giving us this code i greatly appreciate it i really love this game and as always you guys can check me out on twitter uh snaldo if you're looking for times and everything what is going on itself and you can check out sunday's the iron lords podcast on youtube check us out uh, greatly appreciate it and lordsofgaming.net so, where you're looking for all of your online gaming check us out we'll see you soon thank you the level Bye. Up. skill here which is reduced terrain on uh, reduced energy cost on all terrains uh strong energy efficiency on flat terrain allows you to expert the mountain thoroughly exploring the mountain for too long threatens your sanity night climber specializes in night climbing gain more experience in the in events during the night exceptional bonus when climbing during the night no bonus during the day and the night is still dangerous suitable expert utilizing i'm sorry i can't read specializing in utilizing consumables whenever you use a consumable item you get some sanity strong at s getting the most out of your consumable items all bonuses are dependent on finding consumable items mm. yeah he's he's out i wonder if it's because the water is lower yeah We're picking light step one. All right. Ooh, that was a long walk. No, no. Oh, oh, can we? I did it again. That is like the perfectly placed location for me to always want to hit cancel. Well, that's humorous. So we have to go around this way to get to there. And then that looks like it's a cave. So we can go, is it stopping? Huh? This. Climbing. I choose the, the path and he just goes. I'm not gonna fall. He's just cruising. I'm really intrigued to see what happens once we hit ice. No. We can speed uh well we have a sprint button, but it like does a lot of other stuff that I don't think is necessary. Mountain goat. Standing behind a rock. A, and using its head to point and play in the direction you're walking. Is it trying to walk? Is it trying to warn you? Ignore it? Or I hide behind the rock too? Hide behind the rock. How's it go? Walking just a few feet ahead of you 
is a large wildcat. And those is neither you nor the goat. Good job, goat. Always listen to the goat. Oh my god. Oh god. She's so bad. You lean against the rock face. You notice a hollow hollowed. Yeah. Someone has left some provisions there. I use a branch. I push the boulder aside. Ooh. Ooh. This we know we lose energy. Yeah, because you're pushing it. Or do you use a branch? Where's chat with my answers? Um... Uh, I feel like if I, I'm going to push a branch, so a branch? I'm using a branch. To do what? Oh, we lose nothing and we injure ourselves. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Love you. Fine. Okay. Careful steps. Uh, spending more time while moving, but dangerous terrain. Increase sanity gain in events. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Deep breaths. Increase maximum oxygen. We need to increase our sanity in, in events. Because I think that is what's going to be our problem child. Temporary debuffs. Injured torso. Uh, into 24 hours. Painful breathing. This is our traits. Our equipment is just the climbing gloves. Environment. Clear. Okay. Now let's start walking back the way we came. see see what happens i think this is a camp out thing which would be pretty cool i really would like to see what happens when we when we do hit these types of points um but we're gonna we're gonna start walking up the mountain ish I feel like there's a certain point thing you have to like gain certain XP while leveling up. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a shimmer, a faint shimmer of light. I lie down and sleep. I follow the light. I leave the cave. Uh, I follow the light. It's coming for a hundred fireflies, which are fascinating. You return to the cave entrance. Uh, I mean, we can lay down and sleep, but we still have a lot of energy. I don't want to lay down and sleep. I'm going to leave the cave. Oh, that was nice of him. I'll have to I'll message him later. Alright, so now we're gonna go. Oh, that's a long hike. Now, is it easier? Oh no, that's probably our our fastest way to go. 
and we really can't see any anywhere else thought there was a like oh, oh there was a cave over there I was doing a thing okay our body temperature is going up our sanity is going down our energy is going down oxygen is going down and we are now in nighttime oh boy cans a thin wisp of smoke rises up into the sky in front of you you turn around a corner the wall of the cliff and discover a campfire flames already licking the sides of the cans placed around it You stamp on the fire to put it out. You collect snow and put out the fire. What should we do? I think we're going to collect snow and stamp out the fire. Oh, we get a can of food that way. Oh, we're taking that bad boy. Oh, look at that. We can kind of move everything around. So we have a tent that we can use to rest at any time. We have two cans of food for energy, which is baller. Uh, and there are climbing gloves. Okay, confirm. See, there's something over here too. Looks like a... Stop for a second here. I just want to see something here. Go up here. I wonder if we should go over there. Down there, it seems like there's another. Oh, there's a treasure over there, too. Hmm. Are we exploring too much or too little? I've yet to figure it out. golden eagle subtly lands in front of you its wings carrying its majestically to the ground fascinating fascinating you watch it and it watches you unafraid you cannot explain it but the encounter feels majestic fully wrapped to the moment you regain sanity or warmth I'm thinking sanity. I feel like sanity is going to be harder for you to get or get back. And I think that once the daytime hits, we will get our warmth back. And our oxygen is being used because it is cold out. I also feel like I should be trying to get as much possible levels and situational things down on this lower tier of the mountain. Because once we get higher up the mountain, we just blaze. We just like blaze up the mountain. However, you notice a small smell. Follow the smell. Okay. Turn to the cave entrance. Uh, lie down and sleep. A long sleep will give us full energy. How long is a long sleep? Oh. Let us take a brief sleep. We'll get our temperature back, our energy back, oxygen back, and we'll get some time back. Because 
This will be during the daytime. It's storming. All right, fantastic. Okay. Uh, reduces sanity, loss in events. Consumable expert, which we've had before, and night climber. So we kind of know briefly what these two are. Uh, reduced sanity, loss in events. Strong at getting the most out of the events. No bonus outside of the events. Um, consumable expert is pretty nice because we'll have the ability to. Oh, thanks for telling me, hun. My wife just told me she took the guinea pig upstairs with her. All right, so. This will give us a little bit of sanity, but not a lot. Is that sanity going to really affect us long term? This, I think, will affect us more long term. Gain more experience at night during events at night. I think Robust Mind will be better for us today. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh whoa, like we can barely see anything. All right, see the body temperature is going up as I expected because it is during the daytime, which is nice. So we will we'll, we will be able to get our body temperature back during the day. We're gonna lose a little more sanity because it's of this snowy weather. Not too bad. The rest of the stuff is not too bad. Over here. Seems like an interesting game, but not my kind of type of game. No. Like, um... What, there was a uh, this game is very similar to like you know one of those question builder type games uh you scammer in our tent there's nobody in sight but the embers of the fire pits are still glowing the camp is obviously being used by someone you could have valuable items search the camp or continue your journey um I am not going to do anything to that person's tent. Karma. Wasn't there another thing over here? Oh, it's all the way over there. I mean, that's a hike. Uh, all right. Just do it. Oh, there's a space bar which speeds up the guy from run speeds up the guy running. Okay. Hey Liv, how you doing? Good good evening. It's like a new version of Oregon Trail without the nostalgia I have for that game. Uh no raid tonight, no. No Liv. You stand under the skeleton of old trees and exposed roots from from a from form a hollow. It seems to lead deep into the earth. Someone has set traps in front of you. Maybe they hid something in the hole. I'm not chancing that. Take some damage. Watch. All right. All that says is it's going to turn into night. Like I said, Liv, I wanted to uh, end up giving this, uh, you know, a good, uh, good try. They wanted us to, to take a look at the game, play it for a little bit. So I said, why, why not? So figured we'll we'll, uh, we'll play it for a little bit. All right. I don't see 
anything right here. Um, up there is the mount where we gotta go. Guess we can go this way. I will say the graphics and effects are pretty damn good. We'll do this event and there's a cave there. I discover a chest that is almost completely buried in the snow. Dig it out, we'll take energy. Uh, all right, do it. We find a warm cap. pretty nice all right here's a cave so we're gonna go into the cave anyway we're gonna take a quick little nap or we can take a long nap uh into the darkness uh follow use a torch which we don't have or step into the darkness Ooh. turn around okay uh lie down and sleep we get a, we're gonna need a lot of energy back so we're gonna that's 10 points we're gonna get that we're gonna get that mm. or do we do a brief sleep find another cave and then sleep it out i think that's what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to find another place hopefully the storm is gone Ah, the storm is gone. Beautiful. All right, so we can kind of look around a little better now. All right. That is actually not too bad. Or we go this way. We get a couple other things. Oh, and there's another one over there. Hmm. This is that breaking point of snow also. I think we're just going to go this way with it. Because we're going to almost be out of energy if we don't, if we don't do it. This is what I wanted to see these long climbs, what they would end up doing. Oh, just a regular climb. Okay. What will this give us here? Fire pit, but there's no soul around. Fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance around. Gain energy. So we wanted. Oh, there's a cave over there. Beautiful. All right. Oh my god, we can't. Can't go this way? Oh my god, we gotta do like a whole loop around? Oh boy. We are going to run out of energy if we go that way. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. Um Well, that is no good. We're going to have to go this way. Pray that it has something to do with energy. Or we're just going to have to eat a can of food. Can of food will work also. We're going to go into the nighttime too. So we need to get into that cave. Go this way first. <laughs> Thanks, Marsh. I need some uh, cast bars. 
if only. So Mr. Champs. Um, you pull out a crate and it turns out to be empty. How disappointing. Damn it. I know we need more weak ores in this in this game. It's a very different type of game than what we're used to playing. It's an event. Nearby the camp, there, there are vacuum flasks filled with tea. You could take the time to search the tent. Uh, take a quick look around or s thoroughly, I thoroughly, filled with tea, look at his body temperature, some XP. Um, we might have to start drinking some stuff and doing some things here. We are getting low on energy. Oh, there's two camping areas. Oh, that's beautiful. And see that one. Uh, you hear a soft squeaking coming from somewhere. You take a look around and discover a mountain hare cowering inside a rock fissure. It's tr it trembles as you approach it, but does not try to flee. You suspect it might be injured. Uh, I'm just going to continue my journey. There's no way in hell I'm going to hurt that animal. That is us running out of energy, getting there. We can get there and not run out of energy. Uh, KSM feels amazing. I'm so happy that I was able to finally complete it. Like it, it, it feels like night and day difference for me. So I am very, very happy that we were able to complete it. I'm very happy cave all the smell get some xp for following a smell which is pretty normal in life you know lie down and sleep we're taking a long nap because we need energy and warmth we start boom yep yep i got it all right, there's another cave down there, and there's this over here. We're gonna we're gonna go do both of those. Um, weakens the f effects of cold weather. Uh, enthusiasm. When you reach a PCI, you gain energy. Ooh, let's take enthusiasm first. Because we energy seems to be a never-ending issue with us. Yeah. They are a crutch. Scream runs the air. You stop abruptly and listen. The scream is followed by a snarl. You cautiously creep towards the surface. Panda Rock, you see a hunter armed with a knife locked in a struggle with a cougar. His face is streaked with blood. The hunter's pack is lying on the ground nearby. You could grab it. 
and he will never see you. Help the hunter. Take the pack. Continue the journey. What do you think will be the optimal thing here? Helping the hunter or ignoring them and taking the pack? Chat, what do you think I should do? Do you think I should help the hunter and almost use all of our energy? Ignore him and just leave or just take his backpack. Help the hunt hard. That's how I kind of feel. All right, let's see what happens. You tackle the animal, knocking it away from the hunter. The cougar is so shocked that it scampers away yelping. The hunter is just as a full mox, and he begins rummaging through his pack, murmuring something ineligible. It seems that the seems as though he wants to reward you for saving him. His body is flocked with endorphins. You wonder if a parlay gift might dampen your flush of victory. Uh, you accept the gift, which is hot tea, which we already have two of, and XP. Or I thank him but decline the gift, which will give us good consciousness will give us more sanity while moving and 50% sanity gains for events. We're going to thank him and decline the gift. Just pretty dang nice. We are going to sleep and get some energy back. There's a cave. Oh, the light. Some sanity. Lie down to sleep. We're taking a long nap again through most of nightfall, which is good. So we can get our heat back. We get some energy back, which is really, really nice. All right. There's no way for us to get over there, correct? No, we will run out of energy because apparently that takes way too much to do. Hmm. Unless there is a simpler path. Like I feel like Oh, it's because of that, that heavy climb. Look at that heavy climb. That heavy climb right there takes so much energy. Which means the lesser the climbs, the less energy it's gonna take. So Hmm. Going backwards might be the safest way to go because we are going to essentially have a less increased heights to get over, or are we just totally effed? No, we can do this. That's way better than the other way, than going straight up that way. It just takes us a little more time. Oxygen is not in use because we don't have any broken ribs or anything. Our temperature is increasing, which is good. 
There's a place to nap there. I don't think we're going to be able to make it there. Oh, look at this. We could. We could, but it'll be dangerous. Can't go that way. It looks like we can't go that way. The only way to do this would be to do, to do a heavy hike directly up here to here. And that will take most of our energy if we do that. Uh, man, I can't believe how big this place is. Now we could do this hike. And then, do we have enough to hike back? We do. Mm. Or, do we have enough to hike up to there? Then to there. We do. This is going to be a huge hike. Huge hike. And look how much energy we're going to end up with. We're going to end up with like five energy. Let's hope we get some good luck here. Oh, and there's another thing there. Oh, there's like equipment stuff down there too. Damn. Lean back against the Rafa. You keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Could it be a, yet another legacy of the occupier, or maybe it's origins of mystery. Whatever makes you smile. We get sanity and XP, which is fine. All right, this is going to be difficult. This is the difficult part of this hike right here. Apparently this is all rocky. Here are a couple of loose stones rolling down the mountain. One of them hits you in the torso. Ooh, a little bit of XH XP damage. It's okay. We got this. We got this. All right, this is one of the shrines. Sanity or warmth? We're gonna take sanity. All right, we went to the cave. We're going to lie down and sleep a long sleep for most of the nighttime, which is good because we're keeping our warmth and we're getting energy. All right. So now we have to go up that way. Oh, oh my. Might actually be the easiest way to do it. These boards are long. I never, ex I never thought it was going to be this long to be able to get all the way up there. I mean, we still have a tent which still has three uses. Oh, great, stormy. Great. Oh, there's another cave here. Mm. 
see how this goes. I still can't believe I took health damage. Snow and several tents not far away. Who set up a care camp here? You call out, but no answer. Ooh. Okay. Chat, I need some need some uh, need some input. Okay. Uh your breath is taken away. Towering in front of you on the slopes are blizzard blizzardy shaped masses of ice and snow. And several tents not far away. Who could set up of this these this camp here? You call out but no answers. Do I approach the camp? Check the slope or go to the t the first tent. What do you think I should do here? Approach the camp, check the slope, or go to the tent. Liv, you think I should approach the camp? All right, I'm trusting you. You slowly approach the camp. The ice crunches beneath your boots. Every step could be your last. You, but you choose. You close your eyes. Finally, you reach your goal. The camp is abandoned, with not a soul in sight. They surely l left long ago. You rummage through the things that they left behind and find some equipment. At least your efforts were not in vain. So we get warmth, sanity, XP, we lose a little time, and we get snow boots. We leveled up. Okay. Uh... Liv, that was an amazing call. Going to give you a good clap, some claps there. Uh, here, we're going to take Inner Fire. Uh, this is going to allow us to gain more body temperature per hour when moving. Uh, that's going to be good long term. All right, let us continue with our route here. The shrine. All right, what do we take? Sanity or energy? We take energy. Sanity is pretty good. Backpack, you find a backpack concealed under a layer of snow. Food prints lead away from the spot in a zigzag pattern and, and disappear behind a rock. Follow the tracks, search the backpack, continue the journey. Hmm. Do we follow the tracks, which will use energy, or search the backpack, which will give us that? I'm thinking we search for tracks because we're gonna be going, we're gonna be getting to a cave really, really soon, and we can gain back our energy anyway. So let's follow the tracks. You grab the backpack and follow the tracks. You spot a tent sheltered beneath from the wind beneath two sheer rock faces. You can hear loud snoring coming from inside and cautiously approaches. Suddenly, a beard-eyed, haggard face pops up, pops out of the, the tent flap. The snorer smiles at you as they spot the backpack in your outreached hand. Uh, you know, that was pretty amazing. What do we get? The stranger takes the backpack and reaches inside. They rummage around and pull out a can of food, which they offer to you you aren't sure if you should accept the gift after all the stranger is thin as a rail and probably needs the food more than you accept the food or thank him but decline
The food is going to give us energy, which I feel like we're going to need a lot more when we go up the, the, um, up the mountain. Like sanity, I think we're, it's going to, you know, we've been doing pretty good and not losing any. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Uh, we're going to thank him for the gift, but decline. Decline taking it. Because we still have two cans of food. We're in a cave. We get our sanity back and some XP. We're 100 and 100. Lie down for sleep. We're going to take a quick, we can take a quick brief nap or a long nap. If we take the long nap, it's going to benefit us more because we're going to be sleeping more in the darkness. So we're going to be traveling less at night. And it's harder for us to kind of see anything at night. Um, as you can see, we really can't see much. So if we end up doing a little bit of a search here and there, stop. Go this way instead. Uh... Search the tents. We find one bottled oxygen tank. Boom. That was a find, man. And we're out of the freaking snow. All right. All right, let's see here. This is flatter. Like you could like go balls to the walls and go like right up right here. Or we can kind of play it on the safer side. No, definitely not that way. Like that. We're going to use less energy that way. And then we can climb up this. Let's go like that. It's going to use more time, but it's going to be more efficient for us. There's a cave up there too, which is going to be good. Uh, death zone is 600 meters. And that's when we start losing oxygen. Um... I want to look at our inventory. Rough stone. Twist our ankle. Loss of energy on terrain. Well, son of a bee. Uh, Director Kuto reveals a crack in the ground. Hide their possessions. Do we, okay. You trip and bang your knee, cursing up a storm. You kick the rock you tripped over, revealing a crack in the ground. It, se it seems as though someone has used the crack to hide their possessions. Examine it or make the crack bigger. Uh, the frozen earth has been kind to it. You skim the handwritten note where they penned by another mountaineer for over five, five, 50 years ago before the island's extinction. Of the law. Someone has started. Someone has stashed provisions here. 
Crampons. He's going boots. These are better for ice. Like, this is snow, this is ice. So, we are... In better conditions, I guess you could say. Or can we go this way? Or this way? Oh, there's a thing over there, too. Uh... I am trying to... Go balls to the wall and kick it in gear. That's how people die, man. I'm not going balls to the walls. I'm just gonna I'm gonna move a little quicker than normal though. But we're gonna hit nightfall very, very shortly. We're gonna hit this, and then hopefully we'll hit that. It looks like we're doing more around the corner than I was expecting. Don't hurt yourself. This is one of those ones that could hurt you. Ugh. We gotta go over it twice. Ooh, we can gain health or energy. Let's gain health. You're not participating to feel holy. We gain health. So we're almost back at full health. That was fantastic. And we just hurt ourselves. For two. Just just exactly what we got back from the shrine. Fantastic. Reserved chest behind the ledge you open it and find some herbs sanity and health some pot moon herbs oh no no i i am I'm, i am going to do that sir I think we're going to start hustling very, very soon. Because I think we, we're doing pretty good. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Uh, increase maximum energy. Whenever you reach APOE, gain more energy. Ooh. Or maximum energy. This will continuously give us energy. This will give us an overall energy. This is going to give us more over time. <clears throat> I feel like. All right. So this is the question we got to ask ourselves. Do we go this way, which we're going to be doing steep climbs? And we're going to be going through ice and stuff. Or, and then we're, and we're going to get into the death zone, which we're going to require us to have oxygen. Or do we go this way? I want to live a little dangerous right now. Let's go a little dangerous. I'm doing this for you, Liv. All right? Doing this for you right now.
Uh, just one more. Hit the wrong button. Okay, this is going to require us to use 10.2, 10 10.3, 8.5, 11.9. So we're going to go this way. That's why I just didn't up and get rid of it. Oh, great. While climbing, while climbing next to a flat crevasse, you lose your footing and start to slide down. After a few feet, you manage to catch yourself. I quickly pull myself up to the slopes or I carefully let myself slide down the slopes. One, I'm going to lose energy. The other, I'm going to lose heat I feel like losing heat is going to be better for us would have gone with the energy because it's almost night but the closest cave is all the way up here so what we're gonna have to do is um we're gonna i'm gonna go over here get this poi and then we're gonna take the poi and then we're gonna go up to the cave and then sleep and that's we're pretty close right now to to nightfall when we get to the other spot it'll be nightfall so we'll sleep it out and when we sleep it out, we're going to get temperature and energy back no matter what. So we'll get them both. There are several spiders vanish into a hole in the ground. You bend over to inspect the hole. It looks like there's something hidden there. Reach into the hole. Or continue. Reach into the hole. Find something soft, a cloth bag. You pull it out and discover equipment inside. No! Climbing axe? Yes! Amazing. Amazing find. That was amazeballs. Look how much, it's almost using no energy now. Uh, let's change. Change our boots. We're hitting the death zone. The air is getting thin and you breathe. Your breath is heavy. You have entered the death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for a difficult path towards the summit. So there, there are multiple things you can do at this point. It looks like once you hit the death zone, which is kind of interesting. So the air is getting thin and you breathe, your breath is heavy. So you enter the death zone and you pause for a moment 
while you're looking for it. So you can ascend quickly, which will half all terrain costs, but it ends in eight hours. You take it slow, which ends in 24, and you gain oxygen per hour when moving. Oof, one is only eight hours, and we're going to be sleeping for part of those eight hours anyway. So I'm going to say we're going to take it slow. Oh, you lose oxygen while sleeping. That is unreal. All right, I didn't realize that. Thankfully, we have the air. All right, so we're going to have to start hauling ass to the top, it seems like. Uh, What do I have on for... I have the... We do have the ability to stop at some points. Um, we're going to have to try to stay as flat as possible. We can try to straight up just yoink ourselves straight up here. I don't know how efficient that's going to be. There's another cave on the right. You fall, but not far. You land at the bottom of a flat, snowy crevasse. Oof. You encounter a mountaineer sitting, listening on an icy ground. He does not seem to notice you. encourage the mountaineer to stand up it's going to use a lot of our oxygen and our temperature if i continue to walk i lose some sanity i there's no way in hell i'm giving him an oxygen bottle i think we're going to need our oxygen what do you what do you think we should do encourage him walk away from him or give him an oxygen bottle I mean, we could encourage them, which is only going to take time and oxygen. We have the oxygen bottle to give us oxygen back, and we have the thermoses to give us temperature. All right, we'll, we'll encourage them. The mountaineer remains seated and, and won't be moved. All right, man. Your deal. So now our question, what do we do? Do we go? I'm just curious. How much energy would it take? Would it take for us to go straight up? Take a decent amount of energy to just yeet straight up the wall. All right, we're just going straight up the wall. We're doing it. <clears throat> we're gaining our temperature back because we're moving too. The oxygen level is kind of crazy, but I think it's also because we have preserve your breath on. These are all not too good spots. Oh, 
an old woman sits in front of a crooked house she wears a friendly toothless smile and motions you to sit down with her to recharge your shit you do as she suggests and regain warmth or health What do you think? What do you think, Liv? Should I regain warmth or health right now? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm curious, what will happen if I just click the top? Oh, we, we would run out of energy. All right. Looks like there's an easier climb up the back. Then the front. Yeah, it is. There's an easier climb up the front than the back. Oh, this gives us 45% oxygen. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a cave here too. Touch to a slope piled high in snow. You sink deeper as you drift away. You suddenly, your boot meets resistance. You push the snow aside, exposing a metal surface with colored markings on it, created, but still uh, unidentif uh, identifiable. There is no doubt about it. You found a wing of a downed airplane. Dig deeper, examine the wing, or continue journey. Dig deeper. It's gonna use a bunch of our energy. I guess it's okay because we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna we're gonna have to sleep. Use O2, and then we're just gonna have to haul ass up top, and then eat food or whatever we need for energy. You're engrossed in the work, and out the corner of your eye, you spot a billowing cloud of snow coming towards you. You quickly dive into a recess of rocks. Seconds later, a ton of snow and ice come through, tunneling down above you. You are plunged into darkness. The as the cold seeps into your bones, you gasp for air. Slowly, you, you start to dig, and you burst through the snow into your lungs. So we lost even more energy and temperature, but gain XP. Well, that is not bueno. Davey, good evening to you, sir. How are you? Uh, you went to the cave. We are going to sleep and lie down. We are taking a long sleep. This is gonna be crazy because we are going to be nightfall. I'm using our oxygen. Yes, I'm using oxygen. All right. Now it's time. We're gonna try to go up all the way. doing it we're gonna consume we're gonna use food consumption
apparently there are better ways to do this than allowing the auto director to go. Northern Lights, what a sight. Sanity and XP. We gained a little energy from it. Highly increases sanity gains in events. Weakens the effects of cold weather. Slight reduces sanity loss in events. Uh, weaken because of cold. All right, we're going to eat some food. Yes. We're gonna eat some more food. Yes. We're going to take our body temperature up. Yes, please. All right. Go to the summit. I hope they don't ask us to go down now. Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit. The hardships of the climb are already forgotten. You savor the moment.